I grew up in small town Kansas, and I can remember every Easter Sunday my mom would do her best to dress me and my three brothers up for Easter Sunday. We'd have ties, we'd have vests, we'd have the jacket, and we would, like everybody else in our town, would make a trek to our church to spend time singing songs together, to hear the message of Easter from the pastor, and then go home. And I grew up in a family that went to church every single Sunday, but we noticed on Easter Sundays there was a unique group of people that would come only for that Sunday and then Christmas Eve that felt had this felt need to show up on those particular days but never would show up to church any other day. But we've probably seen a shift in our culture away from that in many of our communities that we need to address with our new approach with Easter marketing. Hi, my name is Michael Tuzinski. I am the founder of Church Media Squad, and I'm here today to encourage you to think outside the box this Easter. So like I said, I grew up in small town Kansas, but now I am located in the state of Utah. In Utah, we have a unique cultural makeup that is very uh, uncommon and things that we don't usually think about in the U.S. Here in Utah, we are less than 3% evangelical Christian in the entire state. In some neighborhoods, like the one I live in, it's actually less than 2%. And so we have a unique challenge in that we do not have a background of evangelical Christianity, even identified here. People don't even identify with it. Our predominant culture in Utah is surrounded by people that consider themselves Latter-day Saints or, as many of you might know them, Mormons. The Mormon culture does not put a high emphasis on Easter for some theological reasons we don't have time to get into today. But the main point is that here in Utah, we have a culture that does not put a high value on Easter. They don't think to themselves, oh, it's Easter Sunday. I got to make sure I got to get my family to church this Sunday. We don't have that baseline desire here. And I imagine that in many of your communities, you are experiencing a shift to that mentality where you might have had the mentality in the past that people came to Easter Sunday, but they just don't do it automatically anymore. So what do we do in a culture that is moving away from me seeing Easter as the primary reason to come to church? In Utah, we have a cultural makeup of people that are around 29 to 32 years of age. They have two or three kids at home. They're college educated. They The dad works all week, but mom usually stays home with the kids. And that is how we, as we look at our Easter marketing and also in our general approach as a church uh, to our community. We need to look at those stats to consider what we do when we're talking about Easter in particular and also throughout the year. So in this culture of people not having that deep desire to go to church on Easter Sunday, what can we do to not trick them into coming to service, but to point them in the right direction so that they have a desire to at least learn more about the gospel message and the evangelical Christian, the biblical view of why Easter Sunday is so important. The Apostle Paul gives us a great example in Acts of talking on Mars Hill to the Greek philosophers. He doesn't actually start with scripture if you read the passage. He meets them where they're at. He talks about the unnamed God uh, statue base in their town. And he points to that and tells them that he knows the God that they don't know. And he goes on into a, a a uh, message that points them in the right direction. But the key point here is that Paul doesn't start with something that these Greek philosophers have no idea about, the Hebrew Old Testament. They have no context for that, but rather meets them in their context and then moves them in the right direction. So my encouragement to you this Easter is find out what your unique context is in your neighborhood or community or city. What are people desiring in your community? What is something that they have as a felt need that you can utilize to encourage them in the right direction to learning about the gospel and joining you on Easter Sunday, the most important time of the year where we all focus on the gospel message of Christ dying and rising again for our sins. Look at that cultural context. Find out what are families like? What are their felt needs in the neighborhood? What are the ways that you can encourage them or lift them up on Easter Sunday? 
uh, to help them come into a service so that you have that chance to share the gospel with them. In Utah, one of the things we would think about is with those young families of two to three kids, what can we do on Easter Sunday that's particularly helpful for families so that we can encourage them uh, to have a relaxed environment where they know their kids are taken care of and that they can enjoy their family time together. That's my tip for you this Easter. Think about ways that you can and connect with your community where they are at and draw them into the gospel message of Easter Sunday. Again, my name is Michael Tuzinski. I really hope and pray that God is able to increase your gospel and kingdom impact in your community this Easter.